here we are. So I'm going to talk to you about this event, AI Slaughter, that we arranged in May this year. Um, I will. I'm welcoming all of you um, interested in the... Well, anyway, interested in the... <laughs> in the future of Wikimedia and the Commons. And uh, this is actually what sparked us to do it. We would, were interested in, in exploring uh, what will AI do to the cultural commons. And we had a unique opportunity to create something around this. Um, the Wikimedia Hackathon was organized in Tallinn in May this year. And that allowed us to invite the Wikimedians who were already traveling to a nearby location to join us in Helsinki uh, to, to explore AI. Uh, at the same time, we wanted to invite, let's say, the knowledge commons, uh, Wikimedia, Creative Commons, Open Future, uh, CISA2K, and... Um, Others, well, Mimu, oh, well, I'm forgetting someone, just f sorry for that. <laughs> to discuss among, you know, across the, uh, the cultural commons, like, and explore together. Okay, so here's the background. This is why, why we did it. And then what um, we came up with is, of course, like, this is the, uh, the picture that we... Uh, we created for that. This is an AI imagine. Oh no, sorry, sauna imagined by AI. And uh, as you can see, uh, it imagines in a in some funny ways. But maybe going back to the basics, just to remind. Oh, hello, my name is Susan. <laughs> I come from Avoin Glam Helsinki. We are a group that works uh, with a Glam in Helsinki. We work within the Wikimedia uh, big family, uh, but we are based at, in Open Knowledge Finland, so we are, we are wearing hats very often, and this is maybe hopefully giving us a good opportunity to, to have maybe like a 360 <laughs> view to the cultural commons. Anyways, so let's go forward. So uh, the, one of the challenges was then, or the, or the opportunities to, to, to be able to face the future together with all these partners, friends, uh, uh, Finnish glams and others. So, uh, as you can see, these are the, the, uh, the people, <laughs> uh, different <laughs> groups of people invited. You can see, uh, let me see, there's a pointer, laser. Open data advocates, Wikimedia tech contributors on the, on the top bench. Wikimedia te tech staff and leadership climbing. Uh, AI research projects. I don't know what that is. Uh, what's happening there? <laughs> and Finnish. And who's? I mean, I mean, these are the, the the drivers, as you can see. I don't know whether it's the the companies or uh, or these organizations, but but we can interpret. So so we also invited Finnish glams uh, <clears throat> with the idea that they do not have to have uh, AI experience. There could be uh, glam professionals um, dipping their toe into what AI could do in their profession, or there could be uh, even technology providers and, uh, and developers working with AI. And here we go. So these are the stats, first of all, so somebody may be interested. We had 82 registered participants, uh, like two thirds from Finland and 30, well, one third international, one third a female, <coughs> two thirds other. Uh, Wikimedians, oh, well, what is that in, in, uh, in fractions? Well, 30 38%. <laughs> and uh, we also made a distinction, well, they, they, they were able to uh, declare which, which uh, level of understanding they had. So a uh, fraction of uh, newbies, mm, the major part explorers, so, so people who have already explored, uh, tested uh, working with AI and 27 who work with AI as part of their work. And, uh, and here's also the division between these different uh, groups. 40% um, from Wikimedia and other open knowledge uh, organizations. Uh, well, this is not just like a pie divided into this, but like they could have several groups. So 56% were uh, 
identified as cultural heritage uh, people, not necessarily professionals, 10% from creative fields, five only <laughs> representing public policy and uh, 18 AI development. And also, actually, the, the, there were eight, the 47 organizations altogether represented. And here we have the, <laughs> the full list. Wikimedia Foundation, Creative Commons, Wikimedia Deutschland, Wik uh, Flickr Foundation, Open Future Foundation, MIMU, and Center for Access, uh, Internet and Society Access to Knowledge. And so um, <clears throat> I go through what we did. We had two days, and that was like the weekend was a, a hackathon in in uh, Tallinn, and then on Monday and Tuesday we had a sauna. So uh, the idea was to have these uh, inspire talks in the beginning. So so most of these um, uh, these uh, speakers came from these organizations um, or these. Uh, well, you, you will see this lineup here, <laughs> and um, we have uh, people from Finnish uh, Glams, uh, people from Wikimedia Foundation, Creative Commons, um, uh, from Finnish uh, uh, this uh, well Finnish projects and Wikimedia projects, as well as then companies, uh, Flickr Foundation and Open Future. So uh, after this, uh, this uh, speak, uh, well, uh, what you can see here is like this reminds you that all these are online, and uh, I have a link at in the end to uh, for you to to deep your toes into <laughs> those. Okay, um, after the the talks, we had discussion to prepare for next day's hackathon. We uh, were forming groups identifying topics, and then uh, here you can see some uh, impressions from that session. I, uh, we were asking everyone uh, to share their interests about this topic, so um, I think that was one of the nicest moments in that, that we could hear from all of the participants coming from the different backgrounds or, uh, about their interest and well, maybe experience and background as well. So um, here you can see the sauna part. And um, this is a, a sea pool in the Helsinki uh, city center, uh, the marketplace, outside the marketplace. There are warmed pools here you can see, that one. This is the children's pool. I don't know whether you can see, but it's just right here, there's a, like a sea pool, uh, which is, uh, well, let's go here first. Nine degrees was on that day, <laughs> the water. Most of the people d uh, did swim. And so also going back to sauna, sauna is a ve very, very Finnish thing. Um, and löylu, which I didn't explain, is, uh, the the steam that comes out uh, when uh, like comes up or when you throw uh, water on the stones, the, it evaporates and causes steam, which is the what you can see here. And when you can have good lulu, it's like you had a good uh, bath actually. And it's got many different ways of expressions how it's used. And just a reminder that a sauna is also the first Finnish uh, living heritage item, because this is a, like a <laughs> nice segue to our last year's and, and the previous uh, presentation of uh, working with uh, intangible cultural heritage. So going forward. So, um, and the second day, it was all hacking. And different projects were created around these uh, ideas uh, formulated on the in the presentations and uh, by the participants, and what came out of that, um, first of all, like like these all these different circles that I have probably been, you know, framing already. So here we go. Um, one of the maybe the circles would be Finnish cultural heritage, and and the the speaker that would uh, represent that maybe most clearly would be Osmo Suominen from the National Library of Finland. He has worked with with AI and uh, automatic tagging of uh, materials for quite a long time. And uh, I'm picking some quotes and some ideas, not, not completely analyzing the presentation or <laughs> presentations of each. But he was talking about civilized AI 
uh, he wanted to bring out five points for building civilized AI. Uh, first of them being using AI to make the world better. Uh, and then the second, use the smallest AI that works. So we don't always want to use the, the largest language models because we don't want to necessarily have generalized information informing us about local decisions. We want local information to inform us about local decisions. Um, and then don't depend on corporate AI. And this goes very well in line in, with the, many of the upcoming uh, issues. Um, because uh, as we see, there's this concentration of power and resources. And maybe, well, this it's not from him, but what I'm saying as a comment to this, that like we as a like a knowledge commons are in a very good position, maybe to to fight against the tide of uh, things going to corporate. And then um, evaluate and create data sets. So do it yourself, uh, provide materials for maybe lo more local AIs or more general AIs to work with, and then be open and transparent in your work. So um, I, we saw, saw four projects that were done in the context of Finnish GLAM. First uh, was a project Osma uh, coordinated himself. They were, they were cr generating alt texts for uh, historical images. And the, the, the research question, so to speak, would be like, can we make historical images searchable using AI without relying much on the metadata? So what are the best practices regarding alt text? What makes a good alt text? And then another one was uh, by Kimmo Virtanen, who was also using Finnish uh, works, or Finnish photographs uh, in the journalistic photo archive. He was, uh, uh, he was uh, um, uh, enhancing uh, image classifications he, they, that already existed uh, because the, the database integration was missing from, from that, uh, in, um, that technology. Um, the teams from National Archives and National Library uh, worked with uh, translations on one hand, and on the other hand, uh, I think this was like the, very much the project that the National Archives was focusing on, working on the Se Senate Justice Department's vector database, a certain set of data that they had produced. So. Um, digital humanities, uh, as, uh, I say, grand old man, uh, Eero Hyvänen, um presented all the, oh sorry, it's, there's a wrong picture, it's not from his presentation. Um, uh, he uh, uh, showed uh, all the, the whole of their, his, well, life's work, let's say. They have produced 21 uh, open uh, data Linked, uh, linked data data sets uh, over the over twenty, no, 20 years, uh, uh, museums, students, war events, books, law, and more. And this is very, very valuable data from Finland that we hope to be able to bring to Wikimedia projects. And uh, his quote is that explainable AI is needed for humanities research, and symbolic linked open data is a way to go. So, and um, there was another uh, humanities project, uh, Dreaming of a Workflow for Digital Humanities, which was about data management for, uh, for such projects. For bringing, let's say, piles of research data into uh, data set, uh, linked data datasets. So, here we go. So, um, uh, Wikimedia was uh, represented by Fiona and Johan. Uh, Fiona representing the the culture and heritage, and Johan, the f future audiences uh, team. And uh, the quote from Fiona is that AI is a tool that can, uh, can augment and support and not impede or replace human participation. And from Johan, LLM is a bridge between the human curated information and the reader, not as a source of information. I think they are very much aligned in each other's, other's uh, quotes. And I think, well, this is maybe, this tells us um, the position Wikimedia Foundation takes in regard to uh, AI quite well that they are uh, at the moment, let's say. 
So um, there were Wikimedia-related projects. Uh, a, a, a rather large group already created a project uh, AI for Wikimedia Commons. They wanted to see whether uh, we can use AI model to improve the metadata of the pictures on wi Wikimedia Commons. So, for example, pre-evaluate Wikilove's monuments contest submissions, or suggest Commons categories to the user during upload, or create better titles for images without in, uh, intelligible intelligible titles. <laughs> well, in, well, I don't know, intelligible. Okay, um, identify bad and great images. And um, Johan also. Pro uh, uh, made a small contribution by by uh, sharing his idea of uh, creating stories about AI, uh, asking the community to come up with their uh, visions for AI, how the, how it will uh, affect the Wikimedia environment, and making this like a body of uh, stories and knowledge, uh, experience, uh, commentaries. And the Finnish uh, team, Kai Arne and Robert Silen, uh, presented their work. Uh, uh, Kai works with the, as a CEO of uh, MariaDB Foundation, the the hard uh, the software that uh, Wikipedia and Wikimedia projects run on, and uh, together they work with the project Frederica, which is uh, bringing uh, the Swedish in Finland online on Wikimedia projects. So it was sort of two pronged, and there were two people there talking about two things. Anyway, uh, so. Um, the title was Harnessing AI and Databases for Wikipedia, and uh, w one of the outcomes was these 10 conclusions about how to use AI to improve the quality of Wikipedia as an encyclopedia, and, and the quote is like, use AI as an in fin infinitely eager young junior research assistant, so uh, not re let it run wild, but, uh, but have it as a as a, I don't know, a slave, <laughs> but, <laughs> right, um, <laughs> junior assistant uh, equals slave, that's an <laughs> interesting, <laughs> right, um, here we go forward, uh, George Oz from Flickr Foundation brought the, um, the aspect of uh, exploring uh, the creative use of AI, so the the visual and the and the maybe let's say artistic. So so what they had done as a project uh, was to create this um, the family of man by Edward Steichen uh, as a as a like a, an AI created publication. So like interpreting, uh, re uh, envisioning the publication from the 50s as an AI uh, production. AI-assisted production, and well, you have to go and see it because, well, I can't draw, draw all the conclusions right here, but yeah, um, please go ahead. So, um, creative works, two of the hack projects was, da 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 <laughs> there was uh, the uh, writing atlas by uh, Jennifer Lee and Kevin Peyravi, yay, <laughs> and uh, they were uh, generating a set of Canonical, or well, the questioning whether it was possible to create a set of canonical tags from thousands of uh, manually created feral tags. I really like these feral tags. I, I think they used to be called folksonomies, but now feral tags, it's, it's, that's a today's word. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, in a catalog of five, uh, over 5,000 sto short stories that have human written summaries. And Heike Kastema uh, presented uh, um, uh, an article he had created with, together with uh, a chat bot uh, about uh, evaluating AI texts. Um, and then I'm not sure if it's uh, if it's available online. Anyway, uh, Connor from Creative Commons uh, sh shared the work that Creative Commons does. We go to the policy policy area. So uh, Creative Commons was one of the presenters uh, who who were exploring the policy space, uh, and he shared what CC works on the legal clarifications regarding AI, co-developing broad solutions, global AI policy, and the global community uh, that can uh, be created around this. And he wanted to share a call to cultural heritage institutions to contribute to better AI software 
Um, the open cu culture movement should support pro-social technologies that reflect our diversity of human experiences. Probably we have to go into the recording to know exactly what that means. <laughs> <laughs> and then Alicia here from Open Future. Uh, then uh, well, let's see if I, I mean, the, the, we've got long quotes. Oh, but, yeah, but that's next. You, this is your talk. <laughs> so um, first, um, that I think this important power concentration issue. So the unchecked power con uh, concentration raises concerns about AI's social and economic impact. The, and the issue that uh, Connor was already uh, referring to, and marginalizing smaller companies and stifling competition. Machine-generated content significantly impacts the free knowledge ecosystem and common space peer production model. So this is a, like, a, a, like a, a, an alarm, a flag that is being raised, like, uh, are we going to disappear as a peer production environment? Do we have to renew? Oh, well, this is my interpretation. And then, uh, uh, like, as responses, democratizing aid, AI development, democratizing the use of AI tools, uh, redistributing the value of gen uh, value generated by AI and common space governance of AI systems, and oh, <laughs> some <laughs> minor flaws there. So um, um, what we had then these two hack projects around this, and first it was this consortium, let's say, of uh, Creative Commons, Flickr Commons, Wikimedia Deutschland and Avanglam, uh, working on uh, designing human scale preference ring signals, which is a, like a combination of uh, Creative Commons initiative and the Flickr Commons uh, initiatives. Uh, so, uh, with ideas, how do we keep in mind when designing for cultural heritage institutions and collections, and how can we support content creators or stewards to be open to AI or close? These are very short quotes, so you have to go to the materials to know more. And uh, the the work, uh, the the hack project that Bart Magnus from Mimo and Alicia uh, from Open Future worked on was a, a, um, a database of. Uh, uh, pers uh, personally identifiable information, visual, visual information to be used as a, a reference database, right? Check, check. <laughs> and uh, how to govern that, uh, that specific database. So I, I'm reading from here, so I'm not making mistakes. Mimu wants to make a sh shared a collaborative visual list of personal names of public figures in Flanders, in Belgium, to apply facial recognition technology to enhance descriptive metadata or heritage photo and video collections. This undertaking asks for good governance on community data and infrastructure levels. For example, who can see, edit, or use the data? Which images can go into this visual name authority, where will the data be stored? And so um, here are some uh, impressions from the second day. And so uh, I think I've come to the end of the, the presentation and I have no idea of the time. Uh, one second left. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Maybe maybe we can have the question. Uh, do you have this lessons learned from uh, Evo Haven uh, samples are linked uh, that has just been mentioned? I cannot find his name in either pad. Oh, sorry, you now I c couldn't. I think. Uh, this is, uh, I'll just okay, okay. Um, you will find, uh, if you go to that link that is now on, on screen, you will find a link, all links to all, all documentation. We've, uh, this is actually to show that we've got extensive pages on Meta, which have both the proposals and the documentation, all the projects created pages on Meta during this event, and they link also to the presentations that were uh, done during the event. So, so I think this this will be the like the the contribution, like the permanent contribution. 
I think we have no time. But uh, if, if, if somebody's really, really eager to ask something. Okay. Just real quick, do you think that at, from the beginning to the end, mm -hmm. did people get more positive about AI, more negative, more... I, I would say that um, I think uh, we remain neutral. I, 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 think, I think the understanding might have raised, been raised a little, uh, but I think, I think the, one of the better, best outcomes was that this kind of co-creation and, and exploring together is a very, very valuable way to go forward. Yeah. Okay. I <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs>